Hi oh guys, Flatmeister here. I've got some some bad news, and I know the irony of me drinking from this cup. The irony's not lost on me. <laughs> EA has shut down Visceral Games, and also Visceral Games. If you don't know, they worked on the Dead Space series. Uh, they had Amy Hennig, who was working on a Star Wars project with Visceral Games. I mean, she's a really successful writer. I mean, I had to look at her Wikipedia and didn't realise how far back her career actually went. You know, she worked on the Uncharted. She wrote the Uncharted series. She wrote very real human characters. They felt like real people. Like she's very good at creating characters and stories. And, and well, obviously part of, you know, Part of the work comes from the actors as well, that they make those characters feel human. But she helps that script come to life in in the games. I mean, as I was saying, her career goes so far back as she made the Soul Reaver Legacy of Cain. She, um, I didn't realise that she actually acted as director, producer and writer for Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. God, I, I love that game. That was such an awesome game. You know, her career has goes so really far back. You know, she's a really, you know, one of the top 100 influential women in the game industry. And it's just such a shame that EA decides to, you know, pull, shut down Visceral Games, but then you've got a company like Bioware, Montreal, that made a hot mess like Mass Effect Andromeda, although it wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me if they were next on the on the chopping block. So, um, what was it? This uh, Star Wars project. So see, Amy Hennig reportedly leaving from the Star Wars story-driven project named nicknamed Ragtag. So that w was it supposed to be like some kind of like Star Wars Rogue One esque story in which you have a you know a ragtag group of of star wars you know of rebels fighting so yeah, she's no longer on board but it doesn't look like that they've completely cancelled the game because ea wrote out um they wrote a letter on their main site saying our visceral studio has been developing an action adventure title set in the star wars universe in its current form it was shaping up to be a story-based linear adventure game Throughout the development process, we have been testing the game concept with players, listening to the feedback. EA, you don't listen to player feedback though, that's the problem. Instead you get crap like, oh, we'll pull the season pass from Battlefront then, but we'll add microtransactions. You don't listen to the players, EA. Listening to the feedback about what they ha what and how they want to play, and closely tracking fundamental shifts in the marketplace. It has become clear that to deliver an experience that players will want to come back to and enjoy for a long time to come, we needed the pivot. Uh, needed to pivot the design. Does that? I'm interpreting that as single-player games aren't selling well. We better um, cash in on Overwatch's success. You know, the sort of arena first-person shooter game, multiplayer. Is that what you mean by pivot the design? So, um, we will maintain the stunning visuals, authenticity in the Star Wars universe, and focus on bringing, bringing a Star Wars story to life. Importantly, we are shifting the game to be a broader experience that allows for more variety and player agency, leaning into the capabilities of our Frostbite engine and reimagining central elements of the game to give players a Star Wars adventure of greater depth and breadth to explore. I don't mind linear games. If the story is... Like I said, Spec Ops The Line, I said in one previous video, it was a linear linear shooter, but that story was, you know, it was really gripping. It was a really gripping story. This means that uh, a lot of the things will not be the same regarding Star Wars game. We should expect something different. Although the story-driven game had a ways to go before becoming available for public consumption, the next part of the letter reads... A development team from across EA Worldwide Studios will take over the development of, the, of this game, led by a team from EA Vancouver that has already been working on the project. Wait, is that Bioware Montreal? 
Our visceral studio will be ramping down and closing, and we're in the midst of shifting as many of the team as possible to other projects and teams at EA. So, yeah, this article's saying, this move does not sit well with gamers. No, it's not sitting well with me either. After finding... <clears throat> After finding out that back on August 1st, 2017, a new Bioware Montreal studio, the ones responsible for yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda, is currently helping with the unannounced Star Wars project. Lastly, EA planned to launch the Star Wars story-driven game late in fiscal year 2019, but now the title has a new time frame that EA will announce in the future. Possibly E3 next year. <laughs> this... I, why EA? Visceral made fan like the. Some people are quite divided on Dead Space Three. I really enjoyed that, and I like. I actually enjoyed the co-op um, aspect of the game. You could play it solo, but there were some certain like side quests where you, the other person would play as Carver, in which it would explore a bit of his character. And a shame the game. Did you know? Wasn't it didn't give him much development either. But when you played multiplayer, it it was it was online only with the co-op because Car the person who was playing Carver would see hallucinations that Carver was having, and whoever was playing as Isaac wouldn't see that, and vice versa. So it's really funny seeing this person just standing here going, Arr! having these hallucinations while you're trying to fight off these enemies, these necromorphs that are coming out, and then meanwhile, in that person's hallucination, you're fighting off enemies that are coming at you in, in this hallucination. It was a very, I thought it was really cool. Some people are quite, uh, it's quite divided on how Dead Space 3 was, you know, received. Some people felt it was too action-y, not enough horror. It was still a bit, but it, ha it I, th I felt the story, it did have to ramp things up how it did in the third one. It was bound to, obviously, the stakes are higher. It's got to be a bit more action-y. I know some people in the comments might disagree with me on that. No, Dead Space was like totally rubbish and stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm pissed. Like, you get something like Mass Effect Andromeda where EA didn't rein in their employees where they're going on their on their social media I hate white people I hate suspended white males <laughs> and, and you got people like uh, Visceral uh, uh, everything's under control situation normal what happened? Uh, it's like weapons malfunction but uh, everything's perfectly alright now we're fine we're all fine here now, thank you. How are you? We're sending a squad out. Uh, uh, negative, negative. We have a, a reactor leak here uh, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, large leak, very dangerous. Who is this? What's your operating number? Uh, okay. conversation anyway. Look, we're gonna have company! I, I don't even think I remember hearing any game developers working at Visceral using their their name representing the company it's in in their twitter bio that oh, I work for Bristol, you know and going I hate my people. <laughs> you know you, you, we didn't see that ea what are you doing you're not listening to the players like you claim that you are but you're not you're not listening so yeah that's it's irritating it really is irritating hearing about this news well i'd like to hear what you think um you know write a comment down you think of uh, EA shutting down Visceral. It's it's really irritating. Tell me what you think about Dead Space Three. I wouldn't mind actually hearing hearing your thoughts on on the Dead Space series. Um. Yeah, I, I wish Amy Hennig all the best because she is a really talented, really talented woman. Was I was reading her Wikipedia and it said in. Um, In the influence, it said influence on her Wikipedia page. Do, 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 do. It said, Hennig has been cited as an example of a successful woman in a historically male dominated industry and of how women are taking more important roles within it, which has been working yeah, since the 90s. Hennig herself claims that she has not 
encountered sexism in the industry, but the differing perspective from men in the industry has helped on some occasions. Yeah, so I wish Amy all the best for the future. EA, come on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, like this video. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm Flatmeister. See you. Yeah.